Bob, my big brother, William! Oh! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Hey, hey, come on, ride with me. Hey, 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 Oh man, I'm super excited to be here, man. Can we give a shout out to Abdul, man, and the team, man, putting this together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, so I want you guys to do yourself a favor also. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. equity looks good on you. <laughs> All right, right. They, they didn't believe you. They didn't believe you. Turn to the next person and say, neighbor, neighbor. closing deals, Close deals looks real good on you. Clap it off. Man. <laughs> Listen to me now. You know, I come from a Baptist background, so my mama, you know, I can hear it right now. Boy, you said that perfect. For example, North Carolina. So, man, the first thing I want to say to y'all today is, man, you know, of course, we're here to learn the process on how to be able to play Monopoly in real life, right? Yes. And so one of the things that I want to express to y'all today is simply this. I had a call from my mom about a week and a half ago. And the call that I had She's calling, she's panicking. She's like, baby, you don't got to believe what's going on, baby. I need your help. I said, man, what you need my help for? She said, baby, I spent all my rent money. I said, you spent your rent money on what? She, was, she said, baby, I spent my rent money at the casino. I said, oh, so you went to the casino and spent your rent money. And now you think it's my responsibility to take care of your habit. Oh, uh, talk back to me. Come on now. I'm like, I'm like, I'm sitting there. I'm just saying, okay, mama, I just want to let you know, like, yes, I'm your son. I love you. I appreciate you, but I'm not going to enable your habit. Holy night. Rule number one today on the board of Monopoly of Life, break your habits. One of the habits that mo most people have is they come to these events and they have 15 notepads in the back of their crib and they're like, yo, I got all these gems, but you ain't, but you're not implementing none of them. Mm. This is not a type of an event that you come to just to sit here and take note and then get back on a plane and get back to your crib and be like, man, I got all these notes. Understand this. Note takers are money makers, but implementers are wealth changers. That's why I help y'all. So we're not here just to take notes, right? Because at the end of the day, your life is directly correlated with the decisions that you make. And so my job today is to make sure that when you leave these doors, when you leave this hotel, when you leave this premises, that you walk in such a way that your children can say, man, my mom did that. What's going on, kings and queens? It's your boy, Willis Blessing. Guess what, man? Atlanta, I'm telling you, we coming to you. Not only we coming to you, we bringing some hitters. Listen to me, we're gonna literally have a three day live event that's gonna show you number one, how to get around community because the community that you're around determines the currency that you have. Day two, we're definitely gonna break down the spiritual development aspect and mental constitutional fortitude that you need to be able to operate at a high level as an entrepreneur and a business owner. And most importantly, day three, we get to work. We're gonna roll our sleeves up and we're gonna literally map out your businesses and take it to a whole nother level. So whether you're making five figures, you're gonna learn how to make six figures. If you're making six figures, you're gonna have to make seven figures. If you're seven figures, you're going to learn how to make eight figures. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this. Get in the room because the best room is the sauce room. Let's get it. Let's grow. Click the link below. Let's be great, baby. Just say, man, my dad did that. Because I can promise you, the good book says it best. It says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. The sad part is you haven't even left nothing for yourself yet. All right. Good cut. And so I remember I brought my son down from uh, Syracuse, New York. We in Seattle, we in Seattle, Washington at the time. And my son's like, yo, dad, why don't you grab the Monopoly board game? I was like, son, I don't think you want that smoke. <laughs> Come, son, I think you want that smoke. He said, dad, I got it. You know how teenagers be, they just try to be all grown and stuff. Dad, I got it. I promise you, I'll beat you. So I grabbed the game, we went to Walmart, put that joint on the table, and I promise you, man, it sounded like somebody playing spades in the crib, but we were fighting back and forth. I'm like, son, I love you, but don't, I fucked you up, man. I'm just letting you know right now. And so we played game after game after game. And my record ended up being like 30 to like five. Felt bad for my man. So I tried to let it go up a little bit more, give him a little bit of his confidence, let him steal that stuff into him. And my son said, dad, how come you always keep beating me? I said, son, what you don't understand is that you're trying to buy everything. I'm trying to buy what makes sense. Um, 
So I said, next time we play, don't stop buying every single thing. Learn how to have this thing called patience. And so why who's trying to go get park, Parkway and Broadwalk? I'm buying the railroads. And last time I checked, 64% of the time when people play Monopoly, they're going to land on the railroads. So I stepped back and I said to myself, I said, yo, you can keep that. Just give me that, give me that, give me that, and give me that. So every time you touch on it, you owe me my break. 